What up, you weirdos? Dave here, and I like knives. Here to talk to you today about the Cricut M21. Now, I did a very long time ago a video on the M16, and I said that, and it was to be very clear, uh, it was the, I believe, the smallest version of the M16. All of the M21 and M16 sub-genres confuse me, so I'm not sure what M16 it is that I have, but it's the very small one. And in that review, I said that it was so ridiculously small that it's impossible for my big fat man hands to use. Uh, so I said that I would probably love an M21 just because it's bigger. And I do, because it is. a uh, fantastic knife, uh, great well decent pocket clip uh it is two-way reversible tip up or tip down um great action and its handle is beefy enough that it it fills the hand uh you can really use it and it's great oz8 steel i believe yes it is oz8 all right yes oz8 uh, Oz8 steel, which is great, um, because I'm growing bored of how many 8CRs I own, uh, so I'm starting to stop buying those and trying to branch out, and this was one of my first major steps in that category. So, uh, it's real good, I like the blade shape, I do wish that it was much thinner, because this is very thick stock uh, for an EDC blade, um, it is a fairly high grind, a little bit of a spear point, but quite frankly, it would be more useful to me if we're just a little bit thinner, uh, because as I've said many, many times, my, ne my needs are not intense ones, so I just need a sharpened piece of something to serve me in my everyday life, to open boxes, cut apples, stuff like that, help me make food, stuff like that. So, this is a little too tactical for those purposes. Um, I do, I like the thumb stud, as you can see, I don't have notes on this, I'll get into that in a minute. Uh, I do like the thumb studs, they they are done correctly, um, as I believe the M16 one was as well. Uh, it is completely tucked away, goes right into that Batman ear right there. Very well done. Uh, so it serves both as a blade stop and as a thumb stud. Although, admittedly, it is very difficult on the best of days, of which this is not, very difficult to access that. And I'll, once again, explain that later. Uh, the lock, not a super huge fan of. The M21, at least this version of it, I believe all of them do, but at least this version. And to be clear, this is the M21 O2G. So, whatever that means to you, that's what this is. Uh, the lock, I'm not a super huge fan of. You can see it is a liner lock. You can see a little bit of milling out there. But because the milling is so shallow, it still hurts to get your thumb in there and open it. But that kind of comes with the territory because this is a pseudo fixed blade. Uh, CRKT on... I'm not actually sure how many models they use this on. I know they use this on something other than the M21, but I just blanked trying to remember the name of it. Use the auto locks system, A U T O, yeah, A U T O L A W K S, I believe. Auto locks. Not sure what that stands for. I was going to take notes on it. However, what the auto lock system is, is when you deploy, and it is a flipper, so when you deploy it, the lock bar engages, and there's a bit here that locks that lock in place. So, you cannot access the liner lock unless this bit is also accessed. The prop, 
The problem with that is that this is that lock. And this is the piece that held it on. I shouldn't put that on my cloth. I'll never find it. Basically, the whole point of this and the reason that I started taking notes but never finished is I'm very open about the fact that I don't put major stress on these blades. I don't throw them. I don't baton with them. I u I've used this to cut a couple of apples, and it's been sitting on my bedside nightstand for a while since I've got it. Because I like just playing with it while I'm watching TV or while I'm driving in the car or stuff like that, and then setting it gently on whatever surface is beside me. However, that lifestyle was too stressful for this pathetically tiny piece of metal. You can see it right there. It's supposed to be, when the blade is deployed, it is, it is supposed to be up there. And that is what locks the lock. However, nope, go back down. You won't stick back down. Ah, the first half of this video, uh, this bit was stuck in the downward position, which is why I was just able to use this as a regular liner lock knife. Ow, I am seriously cutting up my finger by playing with that because that piece of metal is so pathetically, ridiculously thin. There's nothing that screws in the back of there. It's just a tiny, tiny little piece of metal that grabs onto it. Basically, this video was done uh, because I was looking forward to talking about this knife. I was looking forward to talking about all of the ways that, while once again, it's not exactly built for me, I can see it fulfilling excellent duty for those who need it. Um, I, I quite regularly come across people that I see this in their pocket and I recognize it immediately. And sometimes I'll call them on it and, like, we'll spend a couple minutes talking about knives. I see this around a lot, which means that it's, like, it's popular. It's a good knife. I can sign off on the fact that without this factor, it's a good knife. But there are quality control issues. Um, so be aware. Because... CRKT sells this for $70. I bought this from Walmart for $40. Uh, be aware before you spend your money that there are weak points. Um, be familiar. This is actually the first time where I have legitimately cared about a knife enough uh, to, to try to get warranty on it, to try to get it re fixed or replaced. Um, because this knife is worth that effort. However... Just be aware that you might need to put that effort in. So, it's good until one little tiny piece breaks. And then, you can no longer close your knife. So, it's, it's good, but that hinge is pathetically weak. So, just be aware of that. Out of 10 stars, I give this a... Come on, man. It was a brick of gold sitting on a spaghetti noodle. It's supported by a weak foundation. And turns out, it's the most integral part of the design. Any single other aspect of this fails, and you can still use it in some way. But this fails, and what you've got now is a fixed blade. With a pocket clip, in case you want to stab yourself in the thigh. Um, so yeah, I'll probably let you know how that goes uh, after I do a little bit of research, send a few emails. Uh, I was really looking forward to doing this video today, and then picked it up off my knife stand and saw a red button sitting underneath it. And I instantly knew what had happened. So... That's my day. A little heartbroken. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, 
or if this has happened to you before, because I've read and I've watched a lot of, and I've talked to a lot of, physically spoken to a lot of people who own this, and that's never come up before. So I feel a little special today. Um, but if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, let me know down below. And other than that, you guys have a great day.